Do you swear to eat the food, the whole food, and nothing but the food? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer! And please welcome our good friends, Ned, Eugene, Keith, and Zach, a.k.a. The Try Guys! The Try Guys! Hey! First of all, congrats on your new book, The Hidden Power of Effing Up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. you did it! We didn't bring a copy, but we appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's approximately that yeah. tall. Yeah. All yes. right, now I agree there is a lot of hidden power in making mistakes, uh, but today, the stakes are higher when you make a mistake because you may have to eat that mistake and it will not be a steak. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, today. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There you go. You're being handed the power of the highest court in the land. It's time for Supreme Food Court. All rise for the honorable Supreme Court food justices, the Try Guys. There no applause <laughs> necessary. <clears throat> Hello, counselors. You may be seated. Now, here's how today's proceedings will work. You'll each be given a different, terrible, gross, disgusting food. And your job is to convince us that we should eat it. Now, the loser is going to have to eat it themselves. We're each going to vote on it. Now, I like him. because mm. I am the second youngest Try Guy, I will be your Chief Justice of the Supreme Food Court. That means that my vote is worth two votes. And again, if we don't vote on your food, you will have to eat your own food. Let us hear case number one. <laughs> Counselor Link. You are arguing for lard of the flies, which is a block of lard peppered with flies. Yep. Counselor Rhett, oh, no. <laughs> you have been given the cat food on the rye, which is, of course, cat food atop a slice of rye bread. Oh. Counselor Link, oh, oh. you may begin with your argument. Your honors, it is an honor to be before you today with this literary masterpiece, Lard of the flies. Mm -hmm. But right off the bat, I would just like to remove... My, oh my. <laughs> I would like to remove the mystique associated with this dish. This is just animal fat with insects on it, which, since the dawn of man, is what humans have eaten. So this is an opportunity for you to get back in <clears throat> touch with your roots. <laughs> and speaking of opportunity, every single day of the week, you guys are known as the Try Guys. Great name, by the way. But today, you have the opportunity to be known as the Fly Guys. I do love it when things rhyme. Yeah, you could put that on a t-shirt. I don't know. It wouldn't even have to have a dinosaur on it. I mean, it could. Wash yourself, counselor. It could. I rest my case. Wow. I, I feel like I had a bias before that, and now I'm not sure if my bias is, has been swayed. Well, let's find out. Counselor Rhett, it is time for your argument. Your honors? Why feed on fatty flies when you can fall for a fancy feast? Wow, wow. I enjoy wow. that. That yeah, almost like did it right there. Alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try this on for size. As Link pointed out, every other day of the week, you're known as the Try Guys, but today you have the opportunity to be known as the Rye Guys. Hey, oh! I like that. Oh! <laughs> also rhymes. Now, for some reason, I don't like it quite as much. <laughs> I could stand up here and talk to you about how a cat, the cat food is a complete protein, which it is, but I won't. What I will do is ask you a question. Have any of you ever had a case of the lard farts? Please tell us more. <laughs> well, let me just say that if you go down that path, you stand a chance to lose friends and loved ones, and I am speaking from personal experience. You're here. <laughs> Most importantly, and lastly, you guys just left BuzzFeed. You really want to go back to BuzzFeed? Wow. 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 Now, there's a pun that I can really It'll lean be into. Hard to argue with that. That was a tough closing argument. Ah, wow. Wow. We, wow. We, Objection. Wow. Leading the judges. But he hit us where we live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've heard enough. It's time for the Supreme Food Court justices to vote. I think we got to start down there with the. 
Justice Zachary. Wonderful arguments on both sides. Are we still doing the accents? I don't <laughs> think I could stop it if I tried. <laughs> both wonderful arguments. <laughs> no, you can drop yours. I, I've always wanted to try cat food. That's just a personal thing. I've always wanted to try cat yep. food, so right. I'm gonna go for the cat, the kitty cat. Smart choice. I vote for the attractive one. Well, I know you vote, you for, vote me. for the bailiff. You vote for the bailiff. <laughs> you vote for the bailiff. <laughs> what are hey. you voting for? I'm gonna give it to the flies. <sighs> Well, mm. Justice Nail. <clears throat> Keep in mind, no matter what you choose, it will not matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, that's how it works. This point is entirely up to me, but go ahead and just <laughs> tell them what you think. Maybe you can sway me. Maybe, yeah, maybe I, 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 I can sway you. I'll speak right. directly okay. to you. Okay. <clears throat> Now, counselors, when I perceive both of your arguments very well thought out and exceedingly good on puns, as well as knocking our former employer, <laughs> but I have had crickets, and I know that bugs are the future of this world, I vote for the Lord of the Flies. <sighs> I must say that both of you did an excellent job stating your cases. I think uh, regularly I would not be attracted to eat either of these things, but I'm a little bit interested in both. <laughs> that being said, I am a man of delicacies. Delicacies? And delicacies. <laughs> so I have been exploring the realm of pate no. recently. That's what I've been and thinking. often no. pate is served on rye bread, and I do think ultimately cat food is just a low quality pate. My two votes are going to sway it, <laughs> and I am going with cat food on the ride. Oh, objected. Meow, meow, meow. You can't object. You're on I'm the object. Staff. I'm objecting. That's what I thought it looked like pate, and it I'm like, I can get behind like that. It does look like a tasty pate. Wow, but... it is layered on there thicker than it looked from here. <laughs> from here, I honestly thought it was a much thinner thing. Well, let, Just well, a bite. Just a bite. Well, Ned, don't <laughs> hog it to yourself. Pass it down. Oh, oh, we, we take each taking one. Oh, there's under food on this one. <laughs> oh, boy. I got some under food as well. Before you dine upon oh, that, God. Um, I've made a I'll just take a nice... Oh! Oh, that was a big old box. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Really committed. Creamy, right? Do you feel the farts yet? <laughs> you know, it wasn't that uh, bad. Would you take a bite of this and just tell me if I made the right choice? <laughs> no. Nope. I'll tell you, works. I'm holding this in front of me and the smell is very strong. <laughs> it does smell like cat food, but this is our, we made our bed, now we got to puke you in it. You mean you so made food. our bed. <laughs> yeah, well, I did, but I am the second youngest try guy. <laughs> and that's how it goes. So let's on count of three, just take a big old bite. Oh right. boy. One, two, two three. Oh, oh, creamy. Okay. Mm. Yum. This is good. Mm. What? Oh, yeah. Thank you for lunch, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, anytime. Now it's time for our final hearing. The case of the actual sponge cake, which is a sponge cake that Rhett will use as an actual sponge, versus... The Cobbler's Cobbler, which is a peach cobbler served out of Link's Old shoe. Oh my. Uh. <clears throat> Counselor Rhett, please prepare your dish. Oh, oh that is dirty my. water. Oh, it's taking a little bath. Oh my. May I prepare your dish yes, over here as please well? Please prepare your dish. All right. Peach cobbler. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, oh right yeah. in the shoe. Right in the shoe. Oh, it's... oh lord, oh lord. It's nice and juicy. Is it warm? I don't know yet. Well. We'll find out. Mm. No. no, don't no, you no, dare! No, don't no, you no, dare! No, 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 dude. no. It is. Is there no decorum left in this courtroom? Oh, you guy. Oh. <laughs> oh my! Oh. oh my! Oh no! That's great. Feels great. Counselor Rhett, you may now present your argument. <laughs> the only bad thing you can say about cake is that it's too dry. <laughs> <laughs> Not an issue with this particular cake. And sure, there's some dirt on the cake, but listen, every fruit or vegetable you've ever enjoyed came from what came from the dirt. Think of this as a farm to table, back to farm cake, something people in Los Angeles would pay a pretty penny for. Now, when you eat this 
foot cobbler that my friend has. You're not just eating the cobbler, you might as well be sucking on his crusty toes, nibbling on the back of Ooh. his dry, flaky heels, Ooh. getting into that toenail fungus. Right. And I didn't want to do this, I didn't want to go here, and I'm sorry ahead of time, but I would like to inform the bench that Counselor Neil has herpes. <gasps> Toe herpes. Oh my goodness. Oh, follow me here. You know what they say, herpes on the mouth, stay away from down south. <laughs> and in this case, down south means all the way at the feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> south Pole. Mm -hmm. Your honors, this decision is a piece of cake. <laughs> wow. wow, he's good with words. He's really good. Have you heard him talk before? I is my, my god, tongue. my god. <clears throat> <clears throat> Counselor Link, it is time for your argument. Uh, okay. oh, don't put weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, have right. you no sense of decorum, <laughs> sir? Guys, you remember Fruit by the Foot? <laughs> <laughs> this is freaking, literally Fruit by the Foot. I've heard right. enough. That's all we need to hear. <laughs> Good. All we need to hear. Uh, but I do have more. I, I just want to address the hygiene associated with this dish. I want you to rest assured that these peaches were thoroughly washed before being put into the cobbler. <laughs> uh, Red's dish raises a lot of questions. First of all, what is the dirt? What is in the water? What is going on? Why on earth would you want to taste this? There are no questions associated with what is erupting out of my shoe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah. In the end guys, it's just peach cobbler. That's probably your strongest part of your argument. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It is now time for the Supreme Food Court justices to cast their votes. Counselors, you both made wonderfully compelling arguments, but as one hot-ankled man to another, I gotta respect those feet. You're really pulling off that look. So I'm going with the foot food. Boom. Wait, wait, what? He went, he voted for the cop. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard him. Uh, this really comes down to if your foot is cleaner than that table, Right. Yeah. Mm. And from what I've seen and heard, I'm gonna have to go with the cobbler cobbler. Did you see it squish out of his shoe? <laughs> Do you see the suspenders? I scrub hard. Counselor Link, I have no doubt about your personal hygiene, <laughs> but when that peach cobbler squished out of that shoe, I lost my stomach. <laughs> I, I, I cannot in good faith Vote for the peach cobbler. <gasps> I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah. Well, uh, Justice Ned, I'm glad that you cast a single vote for the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> because mine is worth two, and of course that means I could sway the cobbler cobbler, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I vote for the cobbler cobbler. Oh, yeah? You did? Yeah! I'm sorry. What? I'm enticed. I want to know how warm his foot no. is his cobbler. So warm. I thought we for sure had a five to zero. Let's go ahead. Ned, how often do you get to eat out of a shoe? He squished his foot. <laughs> All right. This has literally right. been in his foot. Right. Yep. Now, while you guys are getting loaded up over here, over there, I'll just oh, prepare yeah, I would love for you to take a bite. Of oh. oh yeah, D dunk it in. Oh, um, how does it taste? Um, it's you know, I've had better cake, but um, I've had worse cake. <laughs> At least it's not dry. Middle of, middle of the road. Well, let's eat the foot piece. <laughs> One, two, three. It's gonna taste good. It yeah. tastes a little off. Only a little bit. Just a little off. I can't quite put my toe on what it might be. <laughs> it's warm in a different way I've never experienced. Well guys, it has been an honor to present these cases to you, even if I am enjoying this overly moist cake. I concur, you're sweet peaches and you know your worth. Go pick up your copy of the Try Guys new book, The Hidden Power of Effing Up, which is available now. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you guys say you know what time it is. You, you know, know what, what time, time it is. is. Open up, Eugene. Today I'm here at the Harvard Law School where I just wrapped up my first year of studies. Couldn't have gotten through it without y'all. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. A Harvard man. Oh, Bring it in goodness. and spin away. Harvard Click the top Law. link to watch us create the supreme, supreme fast food meal with the Try Guys and Good Mythical More. And to find, oh, you gotta spin harder than yeah, that. Spin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Give sorry. it a good go. Did you know your clothes can tell a story? Well, check out Post Apocalypse, a mythical storywear collection 
now at mythical.store.